we'll talk a little bit about Linux directory structure. So on Linux machines, the directory structure is pretty simple. We start with, um, when you log in and you got a terminal, you can type in the pwd command to print your working directory. So this user Alice, she starts in home Alice. Now, if she looks at her directory using the ls command, she can see there's a public HTML directory in there. If she does ls minus l, she can see that in list format. And ls minus al, see all files in list format. So what we'll notice here is that there are, the directories are marked in blue. They have a, a D in front of them when you're looking at these file listing. And regular files, they have a dash right here. The period directory is actually a link that takes you back to the, your current directory. So if you are in the home Alice directory and you go into the dot directory, the shared period, the single period, you will still be in the same directory. The dot dot directory takes you to your parent directory. So the home Alice directory is inside of the home directory, which is inside of the regular slash directory. So if Alice wanted to move, she could use the cd command for change directory. So you type cd dot and type in pwd. I can see that we are still in the home Alice directory because the dot took us to the same directory. Type in cd dot dot and make sure there's a space there and it'll take you to the home directory. pwd you can see that we're still in the home directory. Also, if she types in C dot dot from here, she'll go to the main slash directory, sometimes called the root directory, but it's not usually the best name to call it. And type in PWD, and you can see you're in the slash directory. From here, she can move back into the home directory and then into the Alice directory. She type in CD home and CD Alice get all the way back into her home Alice directory. If you wanted to move through two directories at once, you can also do that. You can type in cd space dot dot slash dot dot, which will take you to the home directory and then to the slash directory. It'd be right here. We can see we're in this directory. She can also jump two directories inward. cd home slash Alice which will take her to the home directory and then to the Alice directory. You can see that we are in home Alice again. What we'll notice though is that every time she does a CD command, or every time the CD command is entered, it begins with the name of the directory first. If you wanted to um, move around directories and you were not in the correct directory, this wouldn't work. So when we type in cd home, when we're in the slash directory, it moved in the home directory. If she types it right now, it says no such file or directory. If she's in the Alice directory, she types in cd Alice, it'll also say no such file or directory because there is no Alice directory in the current directory. If she wanted to type in cd home slash Alice, once again, we're not in a directory that has a home directory in it, and that home directory does not have an Alice directory in it, so it will not work. However, because she is in this home Alice directory, if she wanted to get into the home Alice directory, she could use an absolute reference to the directory. This right here is relative. It's relative based on where she's currently at. With a forward slash in front of it, you can use an absolute directory. So if you do C slash home Alice, then it will start from the slash directory, go to the home directory, and then the Alice directory. And that works. You can also do C slash home to go directly to the home directory. Or you can do C slash to go to the slash directory. Any one of these things work. 
once you're in the slash directory, obviously you can move in the home directory because it's there. And if you look at the directory listing, ls minus l, you can see that we have the home directory right here. We cd into home. With ls minus l. You can see that there is an ls directory right here. That she can go to that one. Not only is uh, it possible to jump through multiple directories one direction, you can actually do multiple direct multiple directories going up and down the tree from the Alice directory. If she wanted to, you could see there was a home directory that she was in, and there's a media directory. There's user and var. Maybe she wants to go to cd dot dot slash dot dot slash var that will take her down two directories to the slash directory and then to the var directory you can see how that works because that was a relative thing she could have used an absolute path name c slash var to go directly there that would work from here if she wanted to get back to the alice directory she could have in c slash home slash Alice, and that would take it back, or she could do C dot dot slash home slash Alice to go down and then up. Now, if you try the same exact command again, it would not work because she is not in a directory that allow her to get there. She could, however, do C dot dot slash dot dot slash home slash Alice, which would take her right back to where she was at in the home ls directory. It's important to keep in mind that some references are relative, such as this one, and some are absolute, such as the one with the slash in front. If we go down to the slash directory and take a look around, we can see what major directories are here. The boot directory stores a lot of boot files, it stores the kernel, and other important things like your initial RAM disk, which has drivers that you might need a boot time. Dev stores devices. Um, the ETC directory stores a lot of main configuration files. The home directory stores all the user files. Media is an automatic is a directory that stores automatically mounted devices. So if you put in a CD drive or a USB drive and it automatically mounts it and makes it available to you, then it will be stored in here, with a link in there. MNT is where usually you manually mount your own stuff. Opt is for a lot of optional software, so some packages, such as maybe Oracle, might be stored in here. Proc is a little bit strange. It is a interface to the kernel, where you can see kernel values and set kernel values. Um, there are a lot of files in here. There are zero byte files. They appear to be completely empty, but if you look at the contents of the files, they have all kinds of information in them. The root directory is the home directory of the root user. The run directory has uh, information files for running things. Um, the SRV directory is for Services, the idea is if you are serving um, web pages or FTP pages or other things of like that, you might create a directory in here and use it. However, in practical use, I haven't seen it ever used. Most people store everything in the var directory below. Sys has a lot of um, system things. It talks about devices. It's kind of you know, it's a directory you probably won't ever use, um, but device of things. USR has all your regular user software, so if you install packages, then they are stored usually in the USR directory. And you'll see there are symbolic links, bin, lib, lib64, and sbin. They're all pointing into the USR directory. Bin is for your, your binary publicly usable files. 
Um, sbin is for files run by the super user, but not normal users. lib and lib64 or for your libraries that you might need. And they're all in the USR directory. And then var stores a lot of logs and things like your um, uh, like your print spools and your mail spools and a lot of things like web pages are also stored in here. And so you can move around in these directories and it's good to get used to moving around using the command line because it makes it a lot easier to do things in the future. You can remember use the cd command to change directories. You can always use the pwd command to figure out where you are. And if you ever want to jump back to your home directory, you can always have a CD without any options, and it'll take you straight back to your home directory. Or you can have a CD space and a tilde, which will also take you back to your home directory. And that is directory navigation and directory structure.